Let's see how the QAES3 works. These are the foot switch connections for energizing the electrosurgical unit you're testing. They're labeled cut, coag, and common. The new color-coded test leads and stackable banana connections with retractable shields make it easier and safer to test by eliminating the need to create or improvise test connections. The CQM, or Contact Quality Monitor connection, is below. Clearly labeled is the load connections, variable high, variable low, and fixed. The selection knob turns easily to scroll through on-screen instructions and options. The function keys allow you to select testing options. The back button goes to the top or first menu. A USB port, which can be connected to a PC, is also on the front panel. The main power connection is at the back with an on-off switch. Here's the scope out for displaying the electrosurgical unit output power, which is the RF waveform on any oscilloscope. This is the ground lug. The bumpers protect the back of the unit if stood upright. Let's run some tests to show how the QAES-3 is used to test an electrosurgical unit, or ESU. First, connect the power cord to the main power on the back of the QAES-3 and turn on the power. The startup sequence will automatically begin. Menu 1 allows you to select four different tests, generator output, vessel sealing, HF leakage, and contact quality monitor, or CQM. The More button goes to Menu 2. From this menu, you can test power distribution, which is useful for evaluating the performance of the Output Guarantee functionality in some newer ESUs. This menu also lets you access the memory and set the clock. Use the Back key to return to Menu 1. As previously mentioned, the QAES-3 has connections for Cut and Coag foot switches and Common. The foot switch feature is available during all measurements and CQM tests. In generator output tests, the continuous measurement mode of the QAES-3 activates the foot switch relays to turn on the ESU being tested. Note, the ESU remains on and the foot switch is engaged until you stop the measurement. ESUs with CQM alarms have two neutral connections. You must connect the neutral connections together for generator output vessel sealing, and HF leakage measurements. The shorting leads, supplied with the QAES-3, have a resistance that is sufficiently low to prevent an alarm on the ESU. Some ESUs, however, require the shorting lead to have a minimum resistance as well as a maximum resistance. A simple jumper may not work. Use the shorting leads for all measurements except the CQM test.